Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Angela Bliss and I appreciate you being here today. I am venturing into functional art and I want to thank Louise McKay with Louise McKay Art for turning me on to these Lazy Susans. Um, I'm going to show you a blank one. This is a 15 inch wooden Lazy Susan that I have purchased from Ikea and I don't have one near me but I can order from um, their warehouse or their store in Atlanta, Georgia and uh, I've been buying them and making them and selling them like crazy. So if you want a really cool functional piece of art that you can sell over and over and over I'm going to show you what I do to mine and I hope you enjoy the process. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm going to get you down on the canvas. Well, on the spinner. I will see you soon. Bye. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here today. I have a 15 inch Lazy Susan that I bought from Ikea. I have four of them. I'm going to try to do a modified bloom, split modified bloom on them. Uh, one side is going to be a color to go color um, that I've used on the eight by eight inch cutting boards that are glass from Dollar Tree. And I don't know if you guys have seen those videos yet, but this is Samovar Silver. It's okay, gray, it's really pretty. And with the colors that I picked for it, I think it's gonna be great. I have already varnished this, and I'm also using the PPG Multi Pro in white and pastel base. I'm going to use that as well. One side will be the white, one side will be the gray, and then I'm going to do three blooms. I have the back all taped and protected, so hopefully we'll be able to spin this around like so. Yep, and we'll just get started. I've never done this on a Lazy Susan before, so it's going to be fun. Let's just get busy and see if I have enough of this in my cup here. And with the modified blooms, you don't need a whole lot of paint left on what you're working on. Notice that this gray is a little thicker than the other colors, so hopefully it will slide over and on. Pretty sure it's going to work. And it goes to spin off. I have some shows coming up, so I figured might as well get some of this done. And I thought, why not film it for you guys to watch me create it? So, all right, I'll give this a spin. Oh, yeah, I've got plenty of paint on there. bubbles in there. I'm going to do three blooms down the middle and then we'll modify them. All right, now I'm going to go right down this line here. I have a master's touch in lake blue that I have mixed and I'm going to, I think I'm going to start in the middle and then work my way out so that I know I have enough room. So I am going to put this down on the gray. And then I have a, a Pebeo iridescent blue green that I'm going to put next to it. And then I have a few TLP colors that we're going to use. Uh, I think three. So let's see here. That is the Master's Touch Lake Blue. Here's the Pebeo iridescent blue green right beside it. I have Hammerhead by TLP, and I have Aspen by TLP, and then I have Arteza Pearl Copper Gold mixed with another gold that I had. Um, hopefully this is not too big. I'm just going to go around it. And I have Macaw. It's an indigo gold kind of shift uh, interference by TLP. Gonna like that. I have a white and black cell activator that I'm going to use. 
and I'm gonna use my little mini blower. Now we're gonna do two more. I'm gonna do one here and one here, and looks good. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Okay, that's done. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a spin. Oh, that's pretty. Again, one more time. All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now we're going to modify this little thing. Now we're gonna resin these as well, so it should be all right. And let's just modify this a little bit. All right. Let's start where we started. Right here. All right. Hold this. Oh, pretty. Wow. Beautiful. I love it. Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm going to call that quits. Um, pretty sure I got enough paint off. You guys stay tuned. I'm going to hopefully be back with a resined result. And I'll also show you the glass little trivets I did as well. All right, stay tuned, guys. This is the wet result. Oh, so pretty. This is how it ought to be. Every day should be like a hovering cloud When it's only you and me No one else can bother us to step on our feet Oh no Step on our feet As we won't make it back We better move To the positive side There's a reason why we still have each other to hold Now we could stay awake all night And have dinner in bed Slowly watch as the sun rises Or fall asleep instead to be every day should be like a hovering cloud when it's only you and me no one else can bother us step on our feet oh no step on our feet